read? The title of the poem alphabetically, right? Okay. So they say that the anger of the penis cannot destroy the vagina. But I beg to differ. Because in the case of rape, John has more than just destroyed the private. And like a thief here to steal, kill, and destroy, he has destroyed people's confidence and stolen away the identity cards from people's courage. This is not a poem, but rather a dart ready to hit the bullseye as I make mention that all rapists are cowards. They are hypocritic shepherds who take advantage of the vulnerability of their flock and sacrifice their lambs at the altar of their last men. I think some men are just too horny. And their emotions are wild beasts they are failed to tame, but John, being a hunter doesn't mean the meat in between people's legs is for you to prey on and test without their consent. So don't you know that the salt in sexual assault spoils the dish? She is not a free restaurant meal for you to eat and feast for free because every time you decide to eat her on take away bases, you take away the bases of a woman who John stop being a disgrace to man who John. These chicks don't owe you breasts, drumsticks, thighs the backside, so step aside and backslide on those evil thoughts in your head because nobody owes you head. Instead, you owe yourself a head with common sense. John, you cannot go around forcing people to test your chocolate. These girls are not rules for you to split open 10 hot dog or sausage roll. These ladies do not owe you any cream pies. They are not your bakery. So learn to resist the urge to turn their stones into bread. John, Relax, bro. Take a deep breath. Breathe. Behave the brains in your erections. Stop thinking using testosterone. It's just a mini skirt, a short dress, and that does not mean yes, her wearing see-through is not intended to transparently tempt you to see through her jaw. You are in no position to possess her instrument of power as long as she did not vote you into that position. Remember that her body is the temple of the Lord and worship is strictly by invitation. Unfortunately, John, you cannot take this one by fire by force. John, who gave you the audacity to make what is private a public mess? And John, if you cannot control your sex drive, at least try attending spiritual driving school. Maybe you could learn how to control the sterling on your moral will, John. Before you decide to join his sins, remember, oh. John. Before you decide to join his sins, remember that these women are not pawn pieces on your chessboard. So don't you dare forcefully force fondled for playing your game of sexual abuse. Her fruits are not yours to misuse, abuse. She owes you no garden. She's not your Eden. So why on earth should you eat her vegetables without her permission? Rep. <laughs> It's not just a woman's issue. It's about men who stop behaving like human beings and start behaving like animals. Thank you. <laughs>